congratulate Texas a and They were very prepared, very physical team today. Um, um, ran the ball well, threw it well, played great defense, put, put a lot of pressure on us. And um, give them uh, credit, they were very physical. And um, uh, our team is a little beat up. Uh, got a few injuries. Uh, I, I appreciate the effort, the, the fight that we had throughout the entire game. I thought when Snacks picked the pass that that would springboard us, but we just we couldn't get anything done in the red area uh, and really in the second half offensively. Uh, couldn't get first down. Um, so uh, give a and the credit. We've got a lot of work to do, but uh, I like our kids. I think they'll come back and fight. Um, but uh, wasn't a good outing today. Questions, please raise your hand. Remember to identify yourself. Hey, Andrew Hutchinson with Best Hard Sports. Coach, you had another fourth down decision there late in the first yeah. half. You had the punt team out there, call a timeout, went for it. What went the decision to go for it there? Well, um, it was six inches. You know, sometimes you make decisions on how everything's kind of feeling during the game and things of that nature. And, and you know, we hadn't stopped them. They'd missed a field goal, but we hadn't stopped them. And uh, no, where, no matter where the starting point was, we had three timeouts left. I thought if we'd make the first down right there that we could go down and either cut the lead to one or uh, take the lead. Um, and when we missed, cut off on the backside and Rocket got hit on it and and, uh, and then we had them third and 12, you know, right after that. And I'm thinking, okay, we're going to be fine. And I, they were almost out of field goal range, all those things. And they get a first down and score with 12 seconds left. The worst thing could happen off of certainly missing a fourth and in inches. Um, but that was a thought going into it. I, you know, we hadn't been able to stop them. And, and I thought, you know, we might could take the lead knowing they had the ball back as well. I know there's a risk too if you don't make it because you're sitting there at the 40. I just felt very confident about our short yardage. We had a really nice game plan. I, I thought we'd make it, we just didn't. On the fourth to one plays, is there a, a schematic or a strategic reason for KJ not being under center on those plays? No, not really. I mean, you know, once he gets under center, um, they're, you know, the, the front on the defense is certainly going to change. Um, not really. We we just felt, honestly, if we felt better about him sneaking, you know, we we would do that. Um, uh, but no, not really. Just just the fact that they're going to have you know five guys within within the A and A and B gap and and. Uh, this week, I felt really good that we were going to get the first down. I mean, we looked good in practice and this, that, and other, but um, just didn't happen. Um, Tom Burke, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. So, you started out pretty good on offense, two field goal drives, but then something happened on third down conversions. What what led to lack of push, lack of pass protection today? You know, I think, though, Tom, when you, when you look at it, we weren't any good when we went to school when we went and got field goals. I mean, we were converting third and 12 and third and eight, you know what I mean? And we, we had two ugly plays and a first down, two ugly plays and a first down. And so we never really were in any kind of rhythm. If we got four yards running on first down, that was like really, really good, you know? Um, I think what happened is we quit converting those third downs, you know, because I think we, Converted our first three in a row, and then after that we went on a dry spell. I'm not for sure if we didn't convert maybe two more after the entire game. You know what I mean? But most of them, besides the fourth and one, most of them were lengthy in yards, six plus, and uh, either we couldn't protect it, we couldn't get open, uh, or we couldn't catch it if we got open. There wasn't many of those, uh, but. Um, so physically, uh, you know, they, they dominated us on the edge. Uh, they did exactly 
what we thought they would do, exactly. And uh, they were very aggressive, um, but we just never had really an explosive play until the game was really over, and that was on the last catch for a touchdown. Trey Biddy Hawk Sports. Coach, it looked, I mean, it looks like you put together a pretty good roster, but you're just having so much trouble protecting KJ. Why, why do you think that's been such an issue through all these games? This well, season? I think part of it is, you know, we're playing pretty good defensive ends, uh, but you're going to play them every week. You know, they've got good ones. Uh, part of it is, is we're young, you know, we, we, we uh, got a, learning, a lot of learning curve to do. We do have, in my opinion, the best tackles we have out there, you know what I mean? And uh, um, sometimes, to be honest with you, sometimes, you know, two of them were on a seven-man protection where we're using the backs and the tight ends. And they were blitzing it. They blitzed it twice, and uh, uh, got to us on that. Uh, sometimes we're holding the ball too long, and sometimes there's no time to hold the ball. You're on your back. So um, I think we have really good, a lot of good on good reps during the week, uh, which makes us strain and things of that nature. But if I knew the answer to how we could protect him better. You know, obviously last week we tried to move a little bit more, roll a little bit. We had success with those. You know, they were five and six yards. They weren't, you know, 60, but they were success. And we tried to make it and boot. We tried it on the first or second play of the game. And, you know, he had a blitz into it. And I don't know if we got sacked on that or he got back to the line of scrimmage. It seemed like the times we were trying to get the ball, the, the movement, the protection outside, get it away from, you know, having to just go win one-on-one, -on -one, uh, they blitzed into it. So, um, got a lot of work to do. But I think we can, I think we can, um, I, I still think we've got a good, often, a good enough offensive line to protect it. I do. We're just not doing it right now. Somebody, it's not five of them, it's somebody. And as you well know, if one of them has trouble, you, you're in trouble, you know. We're just not as consistent as what we have been in the past. Were you pleased with the offensive strategy and play calling today, or is it just you can't protect, so it's helpless, I guess? No, I don't think so. I mean, um, I mean we tried to run stretch, we tried to run inside, we tried to run um, some counter type si uh, situations. Uh, and on, on our first first stretch play, we threw the ball out to the bubble and it was a mile wide open hole and we just, you know, we threw it outside to the bubble and got no yards on the play. You know, that's a little bit part of the RPO thing is, you know, oh, I wish he'd have gave it at that point. We can't do that. You just got to go off of reads and things of that nature. But, you know, Trey, to answer your question, we tried everything that we had practiced that we thought would work, and it didn't. Coach Chip Sousa with the Hawk Sports Network. Uh, for, how's the the status of the, of the young man who was injured? Do you have any, any word on John that? Morgan? Um, he had movement everywhere. Uh, he was uh, good spirits isn't the word, but he was communicative. You know, he, ta he, he, he he visited with me. He said, Coach, I'm fine. But he did have some soreness in his neck. So they took the precautionary, which they they should. and they're good at what they do and they took care of him, but he had movement in everywhere and he's, he's at the doctor. Um, Luke Ash broke his clavicle on that first or second play of the game. Um, uh, Moody got a concussion. Um, I think there was one more, I can't remember right now. McLaughlin. Who? McLaughlin. No, he's just back. Yeah, McLaughlin got a concussion. 
Sam, you've been coaching a long time, seven sacks, 15 tackles for loss. Can you ever recall a, a performance oh, like that? Let me say. Oh, I'm sure when I was a line coach, somebody dominated me like that. But if, I, if it was, I'm trying to forget about it, you know. But, oh, hell, you don't have many games like that ever. So I'm sure I did. I think when I was in Missouri, I think we played Colorado or something, they sacked us like a gazillion times. But I can't remember. It might have been Colorado. I don't. I don't remember. Sam, is that a season-ending deal for Luke? Or I would assume so. You know, um, I had it running back when I was coaching at Trenton High School. They got it in the first game, and he came back for the last two or three in a ten-game season. I don't know if anybody can come back faster. It'll be him, but. Um, now we're sitting in what week five with one by eight weeks. You know, if we're fortunate enough to get bowl eligible, he might get, be back for that maybe. And um, what do you think of the AM offense with the game? I know you guys forced some turnovers, which was good. What do you think of the game of Bobby called? Just what do you think of their offense overall today? I think they can run the football, you know. Um, quarterback's a good player, you know, he made it made a mistake, you know, there on the on the bubble, but where Snacks got it, but uh, I mean, he's played a lot of football. He's won it with Laws two last year. Um, but, I mean, I think he took whatever we were giving him and did a nice job. We, we, we made some adjustments at halftime. I thought we are pretty good. We played a little bit better ball in the second half on defense. Uh, but, you know, we basically didn't stop him in the first half. And he had it four times and scored three of the four, missed a field goal. Uh, so his game plan was really good. Yeah, Coach, Evan Camico, Pig Toe Nation back here in the back corner. Um, yeah, right here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Um, so all offseason, you guys preach physicality and finishing it through five games this season. How would you assess the team's physicality level? Well, it's certainly not what we want it to be. Um, Probably didn't look very good today. I would say last week, better than today. And I'd say the week before, uh, not very good. Probably the week before that, not very good. The first game, how do you know? I mean, we scored so much, so fast. So to answer your question, probably uh, not very good which you knew the answer to that question, I think. Trey Shot, Buzz Radio Network. Coach, when you lose pass so early in the game, how much did that change the oh, offensive man. game plan? I don't know. I mean, man, it's so valuable. I didn't mean that negative. I did not. I didn't. Um, it was an easy question to ask. Um, He's so valuable to us, you know. I mean, you go you go back to LSU and take him out of there, and what's it look like about like that? You know, not not like that, but I'm talking about the big plays that he brings to us. Um, isn't that crazy? He's a freshman too, and you're talking about him. But uh, uh, we've got other guys that need to step up and have their opportunities. But losing him was a was a big blow to to us offensively. Coach, you're right. Right Scotty Boyle on the Bulldog Sports. Um, Tesla, I think he got maybe one catch for three yards today. And then, how do you maybe get him maybe unlocked a little bit? And then, the, with the tight end still, like, who do you try to get get going to maybe try to? Well, we played Gums, you know, and and obviously, you know, we've got four over there, and, and uh, we were were relying heavily on on has, you know, and, and 30 was the guy kind of backing him up. Um, so that's probably where we'll go. We may try to get Ty Washington cranked up a little bit more. What was up? You had to. Just getting Tesla a little bit offensively. 
Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's one that we got to figure out, too, because, I mean, he's a really good receiver, I think. But, guys, it's hard to throw the football when, you know, you're on their back. I mean, or you're scrambling. Uh, so he might have been open a few times and just didn't have enough time to get him the ball. You know what I'm saying? So we know who he is, and we know that we need to get him the football. Um, obviously didn't do a very good job of it tonight. There's probably some sort of reason. Either he couldn't get open or we didn't have enough time to get him the football. Coach, after three straight losses, you mentioned, you know, being on your back and stuff a lot. Is it time to like reevaluate what you're doing offensively or is it just keep practicing what we're doing? And Well, you always, you, Trey, you always reevaluate. I mean, you always evaluate what you're doing, you know, and the thing that is um, bothersome because sometimes you go play somebody and they're doing something that you didn't practice. You know what I mean? They're putting this spy or whatever it may be, line movement that you didn't practice. What's bothersome about it is we practiced it and what they gave us was we practiced it. And so, um, I think I don't think we have too much offense in or anything of that nature. I just, I don't know that you or I could say we do this, this, and this well. And so I think that's the, we thought the stretch play would, was going to help us and, and uh, we didn't do it very good either, you know. So um, maybe it is cutting something back and just saying, okay, well, we'll run four plays and that's it. Um, but whatever it is didn't work at all tonight. And it's, it's a legit question. Heading into the Ole Miss game, what's your biggest obstacle with this team? I mean, after three losses, it's, you know, it can weigh on your psyche, getting them back to focusing on, on this game. What's, what's the challenge there? Yeah, I like the team. I do. I, you know, you guys, um, Unfortunately or fortunately, you're not able to be in the locker room after the game. You know what I mean? So you don't really know what's in there. You know what I mean? Uh, I like our kids. I think we still have the team. I think um, they're fighting. Um, uh, we, we've got to coach better. Uh, in some areas, they have to play better. But I like I like the attitude of the team. It hurts, hurts them when they lose. Uh, so, I, I think we'll. I didn't think we didn't fight today. I thought we got our, we, we got whipped, offensively especially. But I, I don't think we didn't fight. You know what I mean? And so, when you lose the fights, when you, you're done, you know, you, I don't feel that way at all. Really, to be honest with you. Two more questions. Daniel Tree, all hawks. Just eventful day on special teams. What did you think of that unit's performance? I thought we played pretty well until the punt return. You know, we made, made our field goals. Um, and uh, kicked the ball well, punted well. We just, you know, they had to, they had to, Smith had to return for a touchdown. And uh, kind of sealed what was already, I mean, the game, the way we were playing offensively, you know, it'd be hard for anybody to think we we were going to get it back back in it, but that punt return sealed everything, you know. But other than that, I thought we played pretty good. You can't take those away, you know what I mean? You can't take the fourth and one away. You can't take third and 12 away. You can't take them away, you know what I mean? So as a unit, we gave up a touchdown return on the punt, but I I thought every other play of special teams unit was, was pretty good. He had two good punt returns, so I guess. Nice yeah. question, Bob. Um, she, I need to talk to her too, oh. if you don't mind. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. Um, you know, people look at the score might think the defense didn't have a very good game, but they really only gave 20 points and they really got you 10. What, what do you think of the defense? And kind of off what Trey said, 
Um, I, I get the team's still fighting, but man, it's been a tough, you know, three losses, a pretty good team. They have they had all this down with Bama. I mean, just on paper, it looks like a pretty tough road to Yeah. Well, I mean, we've known that for a long time, you know. Um, every time you go out there, there's always a chance you're not going to win, you know what I mean? And so you're, you're going, man, Lord, please let us win. And then, but the bottom line is, if you don't, what do you do? And the only way I know how to do it is you got to go back and you got to fight. I mean, you got to evaluate what's wrong and try to fix it or throw it out and do something else. Um, but I, I like our team and I think they'll continue to fight. I think our coaches will defensively. And in fact, we played well at all in the first half. And I thought we played really good in the second half, you know, a lot better against what I think is a good offense. Um, I thought we had too many wide open guys in the first half and um, too many long conversions on third down. I didn't think we needed to get that, but um, I thought we really played a lot better second half. Sam, thank you. Um, I like talked about the defense. You've got, you got three turnovers today, you know, no penalties today. Just how do you think your defense plays? I feel like they're getting better and better. I think they are too, and they're playing more guys. They have different packages for different personnel. Um, but Snacks picking that pass and scoring, then we come back and we get an opportunity. I mean, get a fumble on the 30 freaking seven or eight when we kick a field goal, you know? Same thing. When I went for it on fourth and one, that was on the 40, and they go score on us. You know, it's just um, we didn't take advantage of it. They did. Um, but they're playing hard. Um, I don't know what happened to Landon Jackson either. I think he tore, turned, a, not tore, turned an ankle. But those guys got them motivated, and they're playing hard and, and uh, starting to play smarter and starting to cover better. Thanks, Coach.